Are you creating your website by yourself? Are you waiting to finish your photography website before publishing it to the world? Have you been waiting to finish it for quite some time? Well, this video is for you. In my last video, I talked about how vital it is that you have an up-to-date website for your photography business. So if you missed that, you can catch it right here. But knowing how important it is and actually getting that site of yours live are two different things. And if your website has been a work in progress for months and months, then you'll know exactly what I mean by that. Every day that you don't have a website or every day that you have an out of date website that does not represent your business at all, is damaging your credibility and your earning potential every single day. This task is a priority. So why are you not treating it like one? I'm asking the question, but I already know the answer. You want it to be complete and you want it to be perfect before you release it to the world. But this is a very, very poor business decision. Your website will never be complete. Never. Your website will never be perfect. Never. And whilst it sits there unpublished, you have no real motivation to work on it. It's just sitting there on your to-do list and every now and then you'll spend another day dodging away at it. But those days turn into weeks and those weeks turn into months and those months turn into years. You know this as well as I do. The only way to get this website of yours out there is to make it live and then develop it and improve it whilst it's live. If you were opening a shop, you would open it to the public as soon as you could, right? You wouldn't worry about whether you had everything exactly the way you wanted it. You would just open because every day your shop is not open to the public is another day you could have been earning money from it. So you would open and then continue to work on the shop while it was open. You'd rearrange the stock, maybe add some signage and some accessories, purchase more stock, decorate. You would be continuously improving your shop and letting it evolve. Why not with your website? Because every day that it sits there unpublished is another day it could be making you money. Here are the excuses I hear on a weekly basis from photographers who don't have a live, up-to-date website. Let's start with the number one reason, which is, I just have to finish writing the copy for all my pages. All of them? Why? Why do you need to write the copy for all of your pages before your website can go live? Think about it. What are the pages you absolutely need to have before you can publish your site? A home page. It can be the simplest home page in the world to start with. Just one fabulous image and a short piece of text that's going to do to start with. Make sure you have a way for visitors to contact you, but this could be as simple as an email hyperlink. Then optimize this one page so that you can be found in search results for your most important keyword or phrase. Don't overthink it. Why torture yourself? All of this is going to be changed and added to. Not only can it be changed, it can be changed quickly and easily anytime you like. Yes, your website can go live with just a home page. All you need to say on that home page is that the rest of the website is under construction and the next page is coming tomorrow or the next day or the next week. But put a date on it, maybe even a countdown timer. You don't have a boss breathing down your neck, so going public with this deadline is a great way of holding yourself accountable. Once your website is live but incomplete, you'll feel so much more motivation to actually finish it. It's not unprofessional to have an incomplete website when you're clearly communicating to your visitors that it's under construction. It's unprofessional not to have a website or to have a stagnant website full of ancient, out-of-date information. 
that's unprofessional. So the next day or the next week should probably be your contact page, which can be as simple as a contact form and a nice bit of copy, warmly inviting visitors to get in touch. And your phone number. You can add more to this once it's live, just optimize it for search and press that publish button. The next day or the next week might be your gallery of images. The next day or the next week might be your about page, then your info pages. Writing the copy for your website pages is the biggest barrier to getting it published. So just keep it simple and brief to start with. Add as much personality as you can, but again, don't overthink it. A great photography business owner will be tweaking this copy all the time as their business evolves. You're going to think of stuff in the shower probably. That's where I seem to think of everything. And you can just jump into your website and make a two minute addition or a tweak straight away. Again, better to have simple copy than none at all. When you think of your website one page at a time, it's so much less of a beast. You'll also make a much better job of each page when you do this. Also, dealing with your SEO one page at a time is much less painful. So just go live with that home page and set yourself a public deadline for each additional page. Depending on your schedule, all your pages could be there after a week or at least after a month, as long as you keep them simple. But then there's this next excuse. You know, it takes me so long to figure out the tech and I can't afford to pay someone else to do it. I tend to only hear this excuse from photographers who are trying to use a platform with maybe a slightly steeper learning curve. For example, WordPress. And yes, a self-hosted WordPress site is by far the best option for your photography website, without a doubt. Some photographers hear this and they go straight to this option from the get-go. Better to do this than have to move platforms down the line, right? And yes, that makes sense, but only if you're going to throw yourself into learning how to use WordPress or pay someone else to do it all for you. If you're struggling horrendously with it and you cannot afford to pay anyone to take it on, then it doesn't make sense at all. So if this is you, then maybe WordPress can wait. You know, you can move on to that down the line a bit. There are much quicker and easier platforms that you can use for now that will be more than good enough. You should check out Squarespace, for example. You can be up and running with them in no time and then you'll have no excuses left. But the last excuse is, it's just not right yet. Join the club. Of course it's not right yet. It will never be right in your eyes and nor should it be. Your business should be evolving and improving every month. So it stands to reason that your website should be too. Overthinking the content that's there is stupid because the likelihood is that that content is going to change very soon anyway. Your website's not one of those tasks that can be finished and then left for a couple of years. Working on your website should be one of your weekly tasks. Every week you should be tweaking a bit of copy, adding a new, better image to your homepage, adding more great information about the experience that you can give. This is a continuously evolving piece of work. Done is better than perfect because perfect doesn't exist. And isn't that kind of liberating? So if you have a site that's been on your to-do list forever, just publish that imperfect site and get this ball rolling. And if you've been thinking about joining us inside the Togs and Business membership, you might be interested to know that we have an entire course in there to help you create a website that your dream client will find totally irresistible. Membership is by application only and you can check that out right here. And don't forget to subscribe.